Blessing and honor, glory and power be unto the ancient of days. From every nation, all of creation, bow before the ancient of days. Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne in worship. You will be exalted, O God, and your kingdom shall not pass away, O ancient of days. Blessing and honor, glory and power be unto the ancient of days. From every nation, all of creation, Bow before the ancient of days. Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship you will be exalted, O God. And your kingdom shall not pass away, O ancient of days. O oh, ancient of days, O oh, ancient of days. Father, we just come before your holy throne. We ask that you forgive us of our sins we have committed against you and against your creation. Father, I ask right now, according, according to your word in Psalm 34, verse 7, that you can pray your angels around all of us participating of this broadcast. Around our loved ones, family members, ministry partners, in-laws, ex-in-laws and friends to protect us and keep us safe from any form of retaliation or attacks of the devil and his demons. And we declare Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And welcome, everyone, to another live edition of our The Miracle Hour broadcast. Also, spiritual warfare, strategic network, and also spiritual surgery by the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, in other words, we have three, you know, sessions in one broadcast. Amen. This is powerful. Amen. People are already reporting breakthroughs. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So let me just say briefly here that yesterday I was not here because I went to Los Angeles for a television show. They fell in love with what I did there. Praise God. If the TV show gets bought by a corporation, by like a TV network, then I might have a little job there. Okay, because they really liked what happened there and demons manifested, you know, and the demons were resisting initially, but you know, I got to them. Once I got to them, oh, they manifested really, really good. Amen. Praise God. That's why I didn't come here, folks. Yesterday was what? June 18th on Tuesday, right? 2024. But you know, by God's grace, here I am. Amen. By God's grace, here we are. Amen. And we're going to have a good time. Amen. So, we always start, always start with the miracle hour. Why? Because, you know, it, 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 you know, we, we must believe God. Okay, when we approach God, we must believe that God is, Amen, and that He is the rewarder of, you know, rewarder of those who diligently seek Him, and we are seeking God, Amen. We are human beings. We are very limited. Okay, we make mistakes, we make bad decisions, we make wrong decisions. That's why we put our confidence in our Father in heaven. We believe Him wholeheartedly. Just like, you know, what is faith? I heard Benny Hinn say today, faith is believing in the invisible. I kind of like that. He said, faith is believing in the invisible, right? We believe in something that we don't see yet. We believe in something that we are expecting, but we don't have it yet. So, in other words, we don't see it. You know, it's invisible for the time being. But, you know, they always, always manifest. Praise God. 
Hallelujah. After this, this broadcast here, this portion of the broadcast is available to anyone who joins the broadcast. If you're not able to join us live, this is being recorded, okay, and is going to be available on YouTube. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. All you have to do is you can type, you know, Miracle Hour, Brother Carlos. Or you can type Spiritual Surgery, Brother Carlos. You're going to, you know, you're going to see these videos there. Praise God. As long as you are listening to the video and participating, this is for you. We are believing miracles for you as well. Praise God. Let's believe God for a miracle right now. But before, repeat after me. Say, Father in heaven, I forgive everyone that ever hurt me one way or another. I forgive them. I love them. I bless them. And I pray for them. Father, bless them. In Jesus' name. Father, now I ask you that you forgive me of all my sins. I have committed against you and against your creation as I have forgiven those who have trespassed against me. Thank you, Father, for forgiving me. In Jesus' mighty name. All right, now we are ready to receive miracles from God because we forgave everybody, right? That's what God wants us to do. So now let's believe God for miracles. Father, here we are before your holy throne believing you for miracles. Father, we thank you for your mighty hand. We thank you for your mighty power. We thank you, Father, that you call into existence things that are not and they appear. Father, you know us and you know the kind of miracles we are in need of. You know the kind of miracles our loved ones are in need of. And we ask you, Father, that you stretch your hands out towards us and that you release miracles to come our way. Thank you, Father, for being our Father. We believe in you. You are our God. We don't put confi our confidence in man. We put our confidence in you, Father. That's why we are here. We should be sleeping by now. But here we are. Awake. Believing in you. And hoping in you. And believing that you are opening the windows of heaven. And you are already sending miracles our way. And also sending miracles our family members away. Father, we praise you. We magnify you. And we lift your name on high. We thank you for who you are. Thank you for opening doors that no one can shut. And shutting doors that no one can open. Thank you, Father, for your mighty power. We pray in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen. All right, this portion of the broadcast requires membership. Why? Well, unlike this one here, that we believe miracles for anyone that is here, participating, listening to this. Okay, if you're not here, this is not for you. That's why I encourage people to come here as often as possible. You don't have to come here every day. You don't have to watch this video every day. If, if you do like once a week or twice a week, you're doing good. But you know, the more the better. This is for everybody. This one is our spiritual surgery. It's also for everybody that is here participating with us. Amen. And for our family members. Our family members, don't, they don't need to be here. We are believing God for them. But we need to be here. At least one person of the family has to be here. But the good news is this one does not require membership either. As long as you are listening to our prayers here, then this is for you. Like I said, just like the first one, you know, you can show up here once or twice a week and you're going to be doing good. But, you know, I already know that some people are here every day. Praise God. More power to you, folks. If you can come here every day live, or if you watch this video once a day, more power to you. Now, this one requires membership, and I'm going to explain to you why. This one here, you don't have to be here to benefit from it. 
because we are already putting Dimas to run on behalf of our members several times a day, every day. I said several times a day, every day, live and offline. So whether you show up here or not, you are benefiting from what we are doing here. This portion here does not require that you, are, that you have to be here as long as you become a member. You, your family, your descendants, and your entire household will be included. Okay, we put Dimas to run daily, and Dimas have to go. Okay, we put them to run because Jesus Christ gave us authority to put them to run. And he also commanded us to do it. Now, what happens if we don't put Dimas to run? Then they will show up at our face, and they're going to cause much harm. Okay, that's why... We put them to run several times a day on behalf of our members, on behalf of their family members, on behalf of their entire household. That's why we ask you to consider becoming a member. We have a, a lifetime membership. You sign up once and you don't have to worry about anymore. We're going to be here every day for you. And you don't even have to show up here. That's the beauty of it. But if you want to participate of this one, then you need to show up. If you want to participate of this one, you need to show up. But if you are a member, you don't need to show up here for this. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to drive out demons right now on behalf of our members. And where can you become a member? At BrotherCardos.com. That's our website. Once you go there, look for Spiritual Warfare Strategic Network. Watch those two videos that we have there side by side so you have an idea what goes on for our members. Amen. I'll tell you that right now. I already said this here before. If Joe Biden finds out about this, he's going to join it. It's a no-brainer. If Donald Trump finds out about it, I'm pretty sure he's going to join us. This is a no-brainer. The more people you have driving out your demons, the better for you. Anybody, anybody can benefit from this, but they have to become members. And then their family members are going to benefit as well. Go to BrotherCarlos.com after the broadcast is over. Then sign up. Okay? Sign up. You and your family will be included. Let's drive out demons right now. The Bible says, in the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and not to harm you. Come out, demons. Come out, devils, on behalf of our members, on behalf of their family members, on behalf of their entire household, on behalf of myself, on behalf of my children, on behalf of my grandchildren, on behalf of my entire household. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Go straight to the abyss now, infirmity spirit, sickness and disease. Go to the pet coronavirus. Go to the pet COVID-19. Go now to the abyss. Go now, flu. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out, infirmity, sickness and disease, pain, body ache, headache, migraine headache, arthritis, cancer. Go now to the pit, devils. Go now to the abyss on behalf of our family members, on behalf of our members. Go now in Jesus' mighty name. On behalf of myself, go now in Jesus' mighty name. Come out now, mental illness, schizophrenia, uh, uh, insanity, depression, anxiety, panic attacks. Go now to the abyss. Get out of our family members. Get out of our members. Go now to the pit. Get out of me. Go now to the pit. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. I command you now to go straight to the abyss. Go now to the pit. In Jesus' mighty name. Come out now, sexual immorality. Come out now, murder, homicide, suicide, depression. Go now to the pit. Go now, automobile accidents. Come out now, insomnia. Come out now, nightmares. Come out, constipation. Go now to the pit, obesity. Go now to the pit, gluttony. Go now, devils. Leave us alone and go now to the pit. Substance abuse, go now to the pit. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Take a deep breath three times right now, everybody. Come out, evil spirits. Come out, devils. Come out. In Jesus' mighty name. 
Now I now on behalf of all of us here, on behalf of our members, their family members, their entire household, on behalf of myself, my children, my grandchildren, my entire household, all my family members. I now break all witchcraft, voodoo, black magic, hexes, vexes, word, curse, and evil, I envy, jealousy, macumba, in Jesus mighty name, say amen. Now folks, this is something that we do all day long, several times a day. It's a no-brainer. Okay, if you really care about yourself, if you really, really care about your family, okay, you owe it to yourself to join us. This is a win-win situation. All you have to lose is demons, curses, and witchcraft. Okay, after the broadcast is over, go to brothercarlos.com. Amen? Now, let's get to our last part here. Okay, this is called the spiritual surgery by performed by the Holy Spirit. If it's not done by the Holy Spirit, I don't need it. Okay. The Holy Spirit is the one touching us, healing us, ministering to us. Amen. Who is the Holy Spirit? Well, the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God. Amen. Is the Spirit of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, the Spirit of God is on this planet touching people, healing people, setting people free. Yeah, the Spirit of God. That's what the Holy Spirit is. It's God's Spirit. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Okay, now this is called the spiritual surgery. Okay. Before we start here, I want you to repeat after me. Okay, we, we, we must have a clean heart in order to benefit from this portion. We must have a clean heart. What does that mean? Okay, you must forgive. Don't hold grudge against anybody. Don't hold unforgiveness against anybody. That can work against you. That can destroy you. We must have a clean heart. I'm going to ask you now to repeat after me. And this kind of prayer, you can do it several times a day, every day on your own. It's very simple. Repeat after me. Say, Father in heaven, I forgive everyone that ever hurt me one way or another. I forgive them. I love them. I bless them. Bless them all, Father, in Jesus' name. Now, Father, I now ask you that you forgive me of all my sins and trespasses, as I have forgiven those who have trespassed against me. In Jesus' mighty name. Okay, if you pray this prayer entirely now, your heart is clean. Okay, but I recommend that you pray this at least once a day on your own. Okay, remember to forgive and remember to ask God to forgive you. Okay. Praise God. Now that our hearts are clean, now we're going to benefit from what the Holy Spirit is going to do. So now I'm going to ask you to sit back and relax. Find a comfortable position. You can lie down on your bed. You can lie down on your couch. You can lie down on the floor. Okay. I want you to feel very comfortable. You can close your eyes. Even if you fall asleep, it's okay. The Holy Spirit does not need you to be awake in order for him to heal you. Okay? Amen. All right. Now that you are relaxed, now that you are very comfortable, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for who you are. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's invite now the Holy Spirit to come by singing, singing a beautiful song. Holy Spirit. You are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace. You are welcome in this place. Lord, in your presence, there's healing divine. No other power 
can save, Lord, but yours. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, you are welcome in this place. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We praise you. We glorify you. We lift your name on high. Holy Spirit, we invite you into our hearts right now. We invite you, Holy Spirit, come, touch us, heal us, set us free. We magnify you, Holy Spirit. We declare that you are the King of kings and Lord of lords, created of heaven and earth. And that you are sitting on the throne of glory, majesty, power, dominion, salvation, redemption, anointing, forgiveness, and love. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Touch us, Holy Spirit. We praise you. Heal us. Healers of diseases, sickness, infirmity, pain throughout the body, headache, arthritis, cancer, back pain, heart condition, lung condition, colon cancer, prostate cancer, breast cancer. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for wiping away all these problems that Satan has brought upon us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your mighty healing power. We praise you. We lift your name on high. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for healing us, for setting us free of mental illness, insanity, depression, suicidal thoughts, anger, rage, bitterness, resentment. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for driving all these things away from us. We praise you. We lift your name on high. Thank you for uh, touching us in the areas that we are in desperate need of your touch. Thank you for healing us emotionally, psychologically, spiritually. Thank you for healing us and thank you for healing all our family members. All our family members. Thank you for your mighty power. Thank you for loving us. We praise you. And we lift your name on high. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, you are welcome in this place. Lord, in your presence, there's healing divine. No other power 
can save, Lord, but yours. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, you are welcome in this place. Father, we just ask right now that you seal this deliverance and that you fill every empty spot vacated by unclean spirits with the presence of the Holy Spirit in all of us, also in our loved ones. Yevareha Adonai Veishmereha, Yaer Adonai Panaveleha Vihuneka, Isa Adonai Panaveleha Veyasem Leha Shalom. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace. God bless you now. Have a good day until tomorrow. And now you can go to our website and sign up for our spiritual warfare strategic network at brothercarlos.com. God bless you now. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.